Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, T4T Polgar. And today's a question and answer session is addressed to Jolt. He was wondering actually how can we make a little cash while traveling to Norway. And Norway is a really, really expensive country. So if you are doing low budget experience, then it's a once in a lifetime thing. And if you are just love the nature, then it's a multiple times in a lifetime thing. Definitely because it's just like outstanding. In fact, one of my favorite city uh, worldwide is Bergen, which is called the city of umbrellas because it rains like I think for 320 days out of 365 so just insane amount of um, rainy days you get over there anyways let's crack in the questions how to get some crash while traveling in Norway use woofing man because to get get it legal it's really difficult pain in the neck and you're just going to waste your time what you could use actually on exploring the beauty of of Norway. So use wolf, wolfing which will allow you to work on a farm whether it's fruit, vegetables or just like a cattle farm doesn't really matter. 3-4 hours of workload each day will allow you to get your accommodation and food covered because this is basically how the service uh, works and also if you happen to work a little bit more then you might be able to actually get some extra cash which is quite handy also if you're traveling over land in Denmark just buy as, as many cans as possible or if you fly it just takes this like cancer soup or, or aka the Chinese noodle soups because this will help you not to get stuck on the road without food you were asking about my solar charge level I'm using a, a solar power bank which I'm not because they are not as effective as a solar charger and a power bank separately just connected so I use the the me too focuses playing around it's not as solid because I'm just doing it by myself right uh, like many other things in life, eh? Uh, but it's a Mi Square Solar. It's a foldable 1200 and the model number is 21200. I bought it like quite a long time ago, like seven years ago, I would say, and it, it cost me shitloads of because back in the days it was one of the, the best products in the market available. What I they give me actually all sorts of cables and transformation and what I did is I purchased this like car signal lighter with USB slot uh, in Bishkek for I don't know I think like five dollars and I just made it homemade like I halved the half the cable and I rewired them to each other the factory provided actually even like a car jumper so on paper theoretically you should be able to actually jump start your car once the battery dies with this solar charger let me unfold it for you so you can see it better um, as this one it, it's it's quite huge actually and while I was climbing it took me I think well different attitude gives you different opportunities but anyways um, it allowed me to charge my uh, my power bank in just a matter of hours. I think like not more than uh, four hours. It took me uh, from zero to one hundred percent, which is fairly good. You also asked what's the the brand of the sunglasses I'm wearing, and it's Tifosi, si, um, Italian brand, and it's like semi-professional for runners, for active uh, athletes because it has a really massive rubber band uh, so it protects from slipping off from jumping off when you're running and there is like this uh, jumping and shock observation and it also has a really well shaped uh, like eyebrow frame if you like so it protects you from having these all these sweating drops into your eyes uh, that's also a pain in the ass while running of course and because they are they are fancy, you can easily use it in the urban world as well, so I'm not using only for training but also for, for tracking, hiking in the nature as well as in, whenever I'm in the city. I think I pay like 60 or maybe 80 bucks uh, for these sunglasses, really sweet deal, I'm all about that and I'm super super satisfied. So I, if you want the link I'm happy to share it with you, which one I bought. 
you can find it on Tifos's website. Uh, I'm not sure how to how, what's the what's the model brother name, uh, but nevertheless, these lenses adjust as the intensity of the light increases or decreases. So it, it's really good. It's really really handy and compact. I have no reason to complain about it. Uh, Jolt, I really hope that I could help you. I really appreciate your shout out note when you were praising uh, me about the low budget activity, guys just like Joel did reach out to me whenever you have a question because I've traveled nearly 100 countries so I think I have the kind of the experience what you may may be looking for and I'm happily answering for all the questions whatever you have if I don't know then I'm not going to bullshit you I just tell you that sorry I have no fucking clue what's that and but I, uh, the flip side that because I'm traveling I have the opportunity to get to, to know people who will know the answer so worst case scenario I just put you through to the right person guys uh, stay tuned and subscribe for the YouTube and Instagram all those links are down in the description they will help you to stay more up to date to get the latest news and listen to all the traveling experiences I do encounter as I'm on the road greetings from Kazakhstan Bye.